Hi guys. So as you can see, I'm starting off my liquid diet today. Um, and it's been going pretty well. I'm going to show you guys a couple of items that I'm eating or drinking, I should say, for my pre-op surgery. But um, before I get into that, I just want to thank everybody who came out to watch my channel, um, who subscribed, who's made little comments at the bottom and stuff. I really appreciate that. You know, when you start off something like a YouTube channel or a blog, you just assume that the people are going to really support you and be for it. And no, I don't expect to have, you know, one million followers out of the blue because people have been doing this for years and years. However, um, I'm just thankful for those who take some time, just a few minutes out their day, even if you don't get to see a whole video, just to come out and see, you know, just support me and support my vision and this journey that I'm on and everything. I mean, we are in a digital age, so, you know, if you're not actually physically there with somebody you can, you know, watch them or live vicariously through them. So I'm just really thankful. Um, but like I said, um, I'm starting my liquid diet today and it's been going pretty well. Right now I'm drinking some peach and ginger herbal tea. And so this is that right here. In this video, I'll just be talking about some of the items that I am using for my pre and my post-op surgery. I'll still be drinking this. I got this from Kroger. It's herbal. My hospital recommended that. So definitely make sure you look and see if your teas you're drinking are herbal. Um, and before I get into what I'm doing for my liquid diet, I'm just going to show two of the smoothies that I have been drinking, the protein shake, excuse me, for my um, two protein shakes, two uh, meals a day. This one is really good. This is J. Dobbs. This is what Mexico Bariatric Center actually had on their website that they recommended. So um, definitely check this one out. It was at Kroger. They also have links on it for their webs on their website as well um, that they will send you. Along with that, of course, lots and lots of water. Just guzzle, guzzle, guzzle. Drink lots and lots of water. And I actually have a water filter. I definitely say that is the best. Um, investment that I've ever made was a water filter. I no longer have to buy plastic bottles and, you know, continue to waste those and destroy the environment. But I have one bottle that I'll keep for years and years. And I don't necessarily recommend plastic bottles, but I just picked this up because my mom's coming in town and I wanted her to have something that she can carry water in. And we're only going to be here for a few days anyways in Atlanta. Um, so along with that, um, you know, get a glass Voss water bottle or just, you know, your own glass water bottle, something from Starbucks or something. Um, so along with my pre, um, pre-op and post-op, my liquid diet, I picked these up. They recommend coconut water, if you can see that. This is really good. I There was another one that was coffee flavored and I read the ingredients because I don't recommend having coffee and this did not have any coffee in it actually, just a flavor of it. So these are really good and it actually has protein in it. I don't know if you can see that, but 15 grams of protein. So this is something that they recommend as far as not losing hair is making sure you're getting in your daily intake of protein so yes you're hitting two nails of both uh, you know killing two birds and one stone as they say because you're having your water this is coconut water and you're also getting your protein in it and this has 15 grams so 60 percent coconut water so i recommend this and i actually only bought like the items that i'm showing you i just brought like a one of them each so i can see am i going to really like this before i go out and buy five things of this and then also after surgery i feel like i'm going to be sipping such a small amount i don't want to buy so many items and you know be wasteful because i know a lot of people videos i've said they went out and bought things and it's still sitting in the cabinet i can't afford to waste any food so i also bought this uh north coast organic apple juice I really, you know, the items that I did buy, I didn't, you know, want a lot of sodium in them, a lot of sugar, especially. Um, I, you know, wanted to make sure I keep all of my nutrients. And even though I'm shaking this up, this almost looks like apple cider vinegar with the mother at the bottom. It was some type of um, thickness at the bottom, maybe apples. <laughs> Um, but no added sugar, no preservatives. And what I didn't bring upstairs, I also have some sugar-free popsicles. And that was actually really hard to find. I'm super surprised 
not that I couldn't find sugar-free popsicles, but there wasn't a, a large variety. So I did find some. One flavor was like cherry, grape, and orange. And I'm like, those are the worst flavors. Who eats? Maybe grape might be good. But for me personally, I don't like cherry flavor things or orange, especially orange. Um, so I found another brand, and I think it had like strawberry, grape, and some other thing. But um, this Nature's um, Coast, I'm looking forward to, you know, seeing how this tastes. It has, um, actually, it has a lot of sugar in it, 24 grams of sugar. However, it's 100% juice, meaning apple, no, you know, preservatives. And then also, I'm going to be mixing this with water. So this is going to be... Um, after the surgery that I start drinking these. And um, along with that, Powerade, or Gatorade, I should say. I'm not really a fan of the Powerades or Gatorades. Personally, I feel like they've always had a lot of sodium in it. And this one has 160 milligrams. But of course, I'll be mixing this with water, diluting this with water. And, um, but I remember growing up, I would drink these a lot. I feel like this is the reason this and Powerade is why I have high blood pressure because I used to drink this like water when I was a kid and I drank water but not enough my mom used to pack these in my lunch boxes and they would be frozen and I remember tasting them and they would be very salty and I, I didn't think anything of it so you know I would wait shake it up but it was always very salty but you know it's amazing how this sports drink you know uh, provided with elect electrolytes and hydration has so much sodium in this so I, I just swore these off I want to say like in middle school maybe freshman year high school I just stopped drinking those all together um and last but not least my chicken broth or any broth for that matter I got uh, I just brought up a chicken broth for the other ones vegetable broth, broth beef beef broth that's a tongue twister that's a good one and i'm so thankful that this brand pacific has um little twist tops that i can literally just take these and drink and go because a lot of people fast with these they go on these liquid diets or they go on these you know um vegetable diets and they drink broth and so this is really cool that this has a top that i can carry it with me on the go because i'm very social and you know and that's going to be another thing that i am you know um not looking forward to you know there's so many different things involved with this surgery but i think you know the main thing is going to be this um you know change from my social life and already i have a girlfriend whose birthday is on the day that i come back another one on the 24th and my line sister just asked me to hang out today and i'm like hey girl you want to grab something to eat and i'm like yeah i eat that <laughs> But it's just really crazy because I'm like, wow, like eating is such a part of my social life, whether it's, hey, girl, let's go to the movies. Hey, let's catch up. Let's go out to Starbucks. Let's go grab something to eat. We're going to eat. And, I, you know, that's another reason probably why I gain a lot of weight is I'm super social. And, you know, eating out is a large part of what I'm doing or just jobs. For example, when I worked in the city, it was like, OK, you know, why bring a lunch when I can enjoy some really good food at your Jamaican spot down here? here a uh, black owned um, barbecue spot right there so I didn't bring lunch majority of the time and I mean who really gets a salad for lunch you know <laughs> even though those are probably the things that I should have been eating um, but definitely that's something that you know I am just you know gonna just pray about of course just going through that process of a social life and my friends definitely are very supportive they understand i just had kind of like a going away or celebration um past friday you know just going away like this is my last supper guys so let's hang out real quick and you know let's pig out or whatever just have some you know good food um before i leave for my surgery and um you know, even even when I was eating, I, I'm just like, you know, just being conscious, like, mm, this, I don't even, because I've been changing my diet altogether and doing the two protein shakes a day and the two meals a day, which were still very healthy, I'm like, mm, you know, it's just different. Like, I find myself eating something and then not finishing it because I'm like, this is just a lot of food. And, you know, you don't really realize when you go out to eat how much food they're putting on your plate. And I remember I went to some restaurant and the portion was probably a normal portion size. But because I'm used to 
probably quadrupled that. I was like, okay, I'm ready for seconds. And uh, the restaurant was really good, but I was still, I, I don't even think I was still hungry. I didn't give myself time to even think, am I still hungry? Uh, did I enjoy the food? Because I, you know, just scoffed it down and we all were like, you know, okay, well, where's our second plate? <laughs> and so, you know, um, if you do get gastric surgery, Definitely, since you have, you know, we have such a relationship with food, that's going to be something that you walk into and, you know, you're just going to have to adapt to is not eating, uh, obviously, you know, and it's, and it's easier said than done because I'm like, oh, please, of course I can do this liquid diet and obviously I'm going to do it because I literally won't be able to eat. I won't probably even be able to drink the eight ounces of water or broth or, you know, the pops of or jello that I have to have. However, just socially, it's just like, wow, like, hey, Ash, you want to go out? I mean, do I really want to put myself in that situation where I'm uncomfortable, you know, because I can't eat um, and everybody else around me is eating? I'm like, goodness, can, can we liquefy some queso or something like that? <laughs> but nonetheless, I'm really looking forward to my surgery. My liquid diet starts today. And those were a couple of the items that I have for my liquid diet, broths, water, of course, jello is something that they recommend, sugar-free jello, sugar-free popsicles. This is all um, post-op, meaning after the surgery. And um, in the hospital also, they provide you with sur um, surgery, excuse me, they provide you with different foods and stuff for your accommodation. The hospital works with the hotel, so I believe at the hospital they'll give you some jello ice chips, for example, things like that to, you know, have you, um, healing. Definitely. I want to also say Greek yogurt is something that they recommend, but that is a little later down the line. Um, after surgery, the, the two from, well, for Mexico Bear actually center, we do two, um, days post-op, meaning we are doing a liquid diet, you know, so our liver can be flimsy. We can empty out our stomach. And then after the surgery, you are doing the five to seven days, um, post-op surgery. And so, I mean, excuse me, post-op healing. And that's when you, you know, of course, continue to the liquid diet. And then after that, you'll be able to do more soups, like, you know, pea soup or, um, broccoli soup, things like that, cheese soup, I guess. I don't know if they recommend cheese, but also don't forget to bring gas sex strips or gas sex chews or maybe even the liquid because they're going to be pumping a lot of air into your stomach and that's going to be something that you have to get out on your own. I've watched several videos from, you know, other fellow VSG um, YouTubers, but also from hospitals themselves where I, I can see them pumping the air in and the stomach is expanding because that's what they have to do in order to be able to move around and stuff. So definitely when you are going towards getting your VSG, excuse me, I'm sliding. Um, when you're getting your VSG, make sure you look at different uh, hospitals and what they do and stuff so you can, you know, be prepared. Um, the, the other thing I was going to say is for me, I think what I am most nervous about during my surgery is waking up from the surgery and, you know, that initial, you're waking up, and first of all, you were just awake, you know, when you go into anesthesia, you could be just talking, you're like 10, 9, and then you sleep, and then you wake up, and you're like, oh, how, did we do surgery yet, and I have had my tonsils removed where I was sleeping, I woke up, and I'm like, you know, trying to talk, and that initial, when you wake up, it's, it's kind of scary, because, you know, you don't know how the pain is going to be, you don't really know what's going on, you're not really mentally there, you know, you're not sure how long you've been asleep, and it's like, oh, you've been asleep for three, four hours, and it's like, what, you know, time really flew, but, you know, nonetheless, I'm just thankful for all the, um, fellow bloggers, YouTuber, YouTubers that have gone before me and have had this surgery and even hospitals and doctors that provide the tools and the, um, you know, the videos and stuff so people can really understand what they're getting themselves into and methods to help with things like loose skin or hair loss or fatigue. Um, you know, just the surgery itself, just different methods. Do I want gastric surgery, excuse me, gastric, uh, the lap band, or do I want the sleeve, or do I want bare, um, what is the other one, um, 
I can't even think of it. Um, so that you came to my channel today. And, um, you know, I look forward to your comments. I look forward to everybody that subscribes. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my blog at the same name, ChristTheConversations.com. Um, on there, I talk a lot about, you know, my relationship with Jesus and, you know, whatever the Lord puts on my heart for me, studying my word, being in my Bible, being in the world and seeing things. And I definitely appreciate your support support on this journey um, for VSG. If you do have any questions, please comment down below. You can also email me. My email is on my blog. If you need prayer, just advice, spiritual advice. If you're interested in, you know, um, me promoting your event or something like that on my website, I also do that. So please don't forget to subscribe. And I thank you for coming out and watching my video. Bye guys.